Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Already, when we left off, we had just gotten onto the Harbinger, which looks like a complete and utter graveyard, which basically is, and we're running around it to get around the Paragus facility to get to the Ebon Hawk because this place is clearly overrun by Sith and there's no reason to try and run this ship when it's this much of a death trap. Really? I was about to say, I knew that there was some in here. Alright. Alright, so... Um, is that one guy there? Might as well focus on him. He's the one I can attack. Oh. So now there's more of them. Including this one over here. Wait, what? There's one right here. Oh, geez. Okay, well. I am just tearing right through them. Even still, we don't want to <laughs> try and run uh, the Harbinger to a different place. Because, hey, we don't know how to fly it. Anyway, um, the Ebon Hawk tends to be a little easier to fly, apparently. I'm assuming. I don't know. I'm, I'm making things up as I go. <laughs> because I'm trying to explain away the fact that we can't use this ship. Uh try and help them, really. <laughs> With the whole uh, fact that we're not using this one. Anyway. Now that I'm done rambling, <laughs> there should be someone here too. Maybe when I open that door. Why are you The other way worked. I don't know why you didn't do the other way. Okay. Pinpoint scope mark two. Okay. It's not anything to scoff at, but... Not what I expected to get out of that. And... Ah. Ah. Oh, well, should have expected that. Okay. And now it's time to fight. And it seems everyone else has that handle. <laughs> escape pod. All the escape pods have been locked. They cannot be used. Okay. That makes sense. I guess. Sonic nullifiers. That's something. Moderate Deveronian Edge. Hmm. That's good. Not something, again, I expected to be able to pick up. But here we are. Door has been magnetically locked and cannot... Magnetically sealed, I should say, and cannot be opened. Alright, well. That path has finally hit its uh, course. So I guess we go this way. There's no other path for us. I'm assuming? Maybe there is. Nope, this is the only other path going the other direction. Okay. If you say so. Although this is not the turn I should have taken. This is the turn I should have taken. Alright. Open this. 
Yep. I had a feeling. There we go. The moment I saw the shimmer. Oh, come on. How have I not hit you once? Oh, boy. This is only going to get worse. Ooh, got a level up. Nice. All right. Might as well get the footlocker. Okay, repair kit. And let's open up the plasteel cylinder. Adrenal stamina. Okay. Level up time. Boo. Yeah. Let's see what we can we get. A lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's up those to the max. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we'll go with computer use and security just to keep them up to date. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. Ooh, I got force immunity to stun an unarmed specialist. Nice. And I can level up my flurry. So that way I'm not suffering too much of a penalty to attack. And not as much of a penalty to defense either. Which would be nice. Or, hmm, huh, it's a lot of feats there. Huh, improved two weapon fighting would be good, good too. Hmm. Hmm. Tempting. Ah, uh, this is what happens when you present me with choices, game. <laughs> I sit here for hours trying to mull them over. Uh, let's go with Flurry, because I'm using that a lot. And then I'll use two weapon fighting after that. That sounds good to me. Powers. <gasps> I can learn to heal now. Which is good and useful. I could learn stunning droids further too, which I might do eventually, but not right now. No real reason to. Okay. And the rest of them well, they don't need all that much more. What is it? Sorry about that, I yawned. Um, don't need too much more experience before they get their turn. Harbinger Crew Quarters. Oh, yeah, this is the path to head to the engines to get out of here. And stuff in here. Not a lot of good stuff, but it was stuff. Stuff in here. Maybe. There's a thing. That was useful. Oh. These were my quarters. This was your room? When? Before I lost consciousness and woke up on Paragus. We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. I intend to do it quickly. I just need to get my stuff is all. Enhanced energy cell, my armband, my data pad, and med pack. Stray Cat, you are requested to report to the Harbinger Medical Bay for routine examination. 
The routine is automated. Simply insert this data pad into the medical computer to receive your injections. Okay. Automated procedure to receive injections. Is that where I might have gotten a bit of the... Whatever it was that knocked me out. Maybe. The HK protocol droid was on board the Harbinger. So that was where the whole plan started. They, he intended to knock me out from that point on. Gotcha. And he used the medical bay to facilitate that that makes sense okay oh i get plus one constitution to this armband while i was figuring out that plan <laughs> this band belongs to the jedi stray cat who was exiled from the jedi order following the mandalorian wars yeah that sounds like me okay that's done uh what else was there i forget <laughs> i forget <laughs> I yawned again while I was saying that too. Boy, I'm tired. But the migraine is finally gone, so there's that. Um, the armband was really the only important thing. Because I can't use the enhanced energy cell for a while. At least not a while yet. So... Yeah, we'll skip that part. <laughs> All right. Open up this one. Skill too low. Boo, shit. Come on. Oh, fine. Use a security tunneler then. You bitch. See how that works. All right. And that's the end of that. Cool. Alright. Ah! Ha ha ha! I knew it. Okay. Still blowing through them, just not as quickly. Oh boy. Come on. Someone help me here. <laughs> Please. Okay, now the rest of them have leveled up. Wahoo. Now can someone help me? Thank you. Please. Thank you. I saw at an aim. Didn't fire. And I was like, come on. Help, please. All right. Oh, a couple credits. Nice. As I loot a Republic corpse. <laughs> okay, well, that's its own problem right there. Okay. So I guess I should heal everyone up. Press A to activate a defensive force power. I don't know if healing would be considered defensive, but okay. more of a beneficial I think that would be more proper of a description but okay whatever there we go now let's get the other ones leveled up shall we Atten skills man oh man okay a little in awareness a little in security Actually, a little more in awareness. That'll work. All right. There we go. That's done for Atten. Now, Kreia. Hmm. Might as well do injury. That one was obvious. Um, 
awareness, because why not? And repair, might as well up that too. Give me a moment, my eye is acting up something fierce and I need to deal with it. There we go. Sorry about that, it took me a while because I was trying to do that in the background <laughs> while I was reading and then I realized I can't read while also doing this. So there's the skills done. Improved force focus and unarmed specialist, okay. Uh, what should we do? I could do improved dueling. That would be useful. But I think throwing on toughness would be a good idea, too. Especially because she's an old woman and all that. Make her tough. Uh, and do healing, too. Oh, I have another extra force power point. What shall we do with that? Hmm. My trick? No. Force deflection? That would be useful. But stun would be probably as good. No, it won't. That's a good one. Okay. Gives the Jedi the ability to deflect any ranged attacks without a lightsaber. Which is, you know, good in its own way. And we're perfect. Alright. Time to get out of here. See if there's anything we can do this way. Credits. Blast door is magnetically sealed. But we got enemies behind us because of course we do tried to block off this area and I can't seem to stop moving come on there we go and at this rate I'm not gonna do any damage there we go there we go my buddies are doing more damage than I am Ah, oh, Jesus. Atten and Kreia are doing far more damage to the enemy forces than I have been doing so far. Ah, oh, boy. My Colto tank. This Colto tank appears to be active. Do you wish to heal yourself? Sure. Your wounds have been healed. Okay. Freebie heals? Why not? Broken Colto tank was shattered from the inside. Fragments litter the floor around it. Yeah, I see that part. Medical console. Insert data pad check treatment request stray cat. Sedatives. Knew it. I fucking knew it. Sedatives admitted, administered. I was about to say admitted. That isn't right. Administered during routine examination. Whoa, okay, it skipped that thing. During your last medical exam, you were administered a delayed sedative that would kill a normal human being. That must be what rendered you unconscious when the harbinger was taken out. It looks as if someone forgot to lock out the treatment request once administered. You still have access to one of the culto tanks in the medical bay. Makes sense. Check the medical logs. Activate. Hmm. Activate. It's more access, but activate works too, I guess. Sith wreckage report. Something's wrong. Ever since we picked up that Sith firefight in the region, crewmen haven't been reporting for their shifts, and I can't reach people on the comm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like this. Mm. So they already knew something was up. Checking the survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred, and I'm registering several thousand fractures in his skeleton, as if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, and then put back together. Jesus. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. 
That's a good question. I wonder if that's the dude who said he was coming for the Jedi. Hmm. This is the medical officer. The soldiers into the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him or Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. Oh, that boy. in the tank with a Sith Lord, alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. And then he woke up. Welp. Turn to the functions. Camera recordings? Yeah, this guy looks fucked up. Oh. Okay. Well, that explains the glass all over the floor. Attempt to get chemicals from the medical computer dispenser. <laughs> hey! Cool. Cool. Alright. Let me check that first message because I didn't get to read it myself. Three and a half days ago. Emergency override enacted. Dosage exceeds safety protocols. That explains that. Okay. And with that, we're done. At least, uh, in here. Ooh. Good. Good stuff. Alright. So, since I'm here already, might as well loot what I can. Because... <laughs> That's always a good idea. And the other route is kind of impossible to use anyway. I think. Ooh, battle armor. Is that the same? Yeah, it is. It's basically. Oh, it's heavy, so it's even worse for me. This isn't the heaviest of armor, but it comes close. Designed for heavy militias, it has the protection needed to keep a soldier alive during ranged combat with massive weapons. Interesting. Energy shield, plasma grenade, and chemicals. Okay. I'm okay with that. Sistec cardio regulator. Is this better than what I currently got? Technically. Because it gives me a plus one in constitution. Hmm. Sysdeck improved upon the standard cardioregulator design by including an intelligent computer system that computerizes its parameters based upon its wearer. Well, how could I say no to that, huh? And I think I might as well equip Atten. Nah! Equip Kreia with it. Why not? Why not? But before I leave, might as well explore this area. Med pack. Well, I was correct. <laughs> Just not for the reasons I should have expected. Come on. Oh, the stun didn't work. Are you for real? Well. <laughs> At least someone's doing damage to them. <laughs> because it sure isn't me. Okay. At least now I have exhausted that route and found out that, yes, I was correct. I can't go that way. So, damage medical droid. Well, I won't worry about that. I will, however, do something involving this. Because why not? 
uh, pheromone package. Oh, I need treat injury 17 for that. But it is something that'd be useful. Up persuade and charisma. Can't complain about that. Can't complain about that. Alrighty. So. Break down. Uh, maybe one of the ion grenades, since I won't need them that much. Break down some of these, just to give me some spare chemicals. Because chemicals are useful. Advanced med pack, I can do that. How much would I get out of these? Ten. Huh. You know what? You know what? We're probably already at a level that I would benefit more from advanced med packs than normal med packs. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to break down all of these. And make the advanced med packs instead. There. I have now 11. So now I have half in advanced med packs, what I used to have in just normal med packs. I'd say that is a good idea. Light battle armor and Mandalorian combat suit. I can wear the combat suit. Even the basic combat attire of the Mandalorians provides a formidable defense. The mesh of this armor absorbs some of the impact of physical blows despite its weight. Huh. That isn't too bad. And I don't recall having put anything on the minor uniform, so go ahead with that. I don't see why not. Um, hmm. Oh, I can equip him in the light battle armor because it's still medium. Providing solid protection for a minimal cost, this armor is excellent for entrenched troops or guards. A force on the move, however, may find it somewhat constricting. That makes sense. The jacket was... Saves all plus two and then defense four. So... Uh, hmm. This is still pretty good for him. And she can't wear anything other than the mining uniform. And the miner uniform at least ups her defense a little bit. Okay, cool. Call that good. Does her... No, her, her outfit doesn't change at all. And this is the blast door we already figured out is sealed. Medical bay door. Open that. Are you... Are you for real? Are you for real? Again, are you for real? I missed all of those. Okay. And... There we go. And we're good. And making sure I'm not missing any loot. We're not. Good. This goes to the turbo lift. We're not ready for that yet. All ready to do is go here. Focus. I'm getting real sick and tired of ambushes. If we could stop that, that'd be great. There we go. Are they A-posing over here? <laughs> they are. <laughs> they were A-posing. <laughs> well, I didn't expect to see that. Utility droids. Protocol droid. Unlike the others, this protocol droid appears to have been purposely sabotaged. 
So the HK was making sure that it stayed in the position it was in. Dark Padawan robe. Droid maintenance data pad. I don't know whether this new HK-50 droid is a gift or a curse. After the destruction of the previous protocol droid, when it accidentally activated that frag mine, the HK has stepped into its place without a hitch. The problem is, it doesn't take commands very well. Most of the time, I have no idea where it's been. There's been reports it's been sighted in the crew quarters with the Admiral in maintenance, and even in MedLab of all places. And when I ask the droid about it, it gives me a smart mouth response about facilitating communication. I don't know who commissioned these HK models, but I don't like them. I'm starting to think I was correct. A droid activating a frag mine. Yeah, that, do that doesn't sound like anything I would do on purpose. Let me guess. The minute I turn around, or the minute I activate the door. No? Hmm. Well, at least this time we didn't get an ambush. So, I guess we should go this way to exhaust all other paths. All the remaining paths. Ooh. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Energy shield, that's fine. Foot locker. Security tunneler. Cool. It's the last thing to open. And it wasn't very much, but it's something. Once I get to a workbench, I'm going to be just swimming in components. With how much I'm going to be breaking down crap. All right. This is a foreboding look. A bad feeling about this. Yeah. Would you stop saying that? <laughs> okay. Your bad feeling is going to be replaced by blinding pain if you don't be quiet. Wow. It sounds like something I would say. <laughs> would you stop saying that? I can't help it. Don't you feel it? Something's going to get real wrong, real quick. Okay. We'll have to be careful then, but we have to keep moving. Alright, don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me. When it comes to staying alive, I'm rarely wrong about these things. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Atten has the special ability to sense anything that places him at a risk. Oh, so he has a brain, is what you're telling me. Okay. Uh, when he gets a bad feeling, it's recommended that you save your game. Well, that part's obvious, but okay. Sure. All right, at least I got some influence with Atten. Cool. So we go through here. But first, I should probably follow the directions and save the game. There we go, saved the game, ended in a new slot. So, doubly protected. In case I missed something, which I doubt I did. Oh. There's Colto Tank, buddy. Hey, buddy! Where'd she pull that? Is mine alone. I am not defenseless. Clearly, because you just pulled that out of thin air. He cannot kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Oh. Run. I shall be along shortly. Okay. I guess. I guess that's what we're doing. Okay. Well, I lost a party member. 
because she had to go off on a fight with sleeps with viber blades. Sorry about that. A sneeze came up on me out of nowhere. Okay, so Lost Kreia, she's fighting Mr. Sleeps and Razors. And now we have to really navigate this place and get through it without, you know, dying. Which, you know, will be difficult. But not impossible. Ooh. Oh, it's only this. Not a lot of loot in this place. Another vibroblade. Nice. Engine maintenance console. Mm, I have more parts than I do spikes, but my repair is lower than computer. <sighs> if only, if only my computer use was high enough, I could eliminate using spikes, period. Ah, man. Uh, reroute. Open maintenance doors to the ion engines. Cool. No unauthorized personnel permitted. Well, about that. There is no authorized personnel, period, anymore. Because they're all dead. Probably forgot that part, computer. In fact, you probably didn't even know that part. So, I'll forgive you for that. Yes, I'll forgive you for that. Also, there's this route probably a good idea to follow. <gasps> there is the workbench that I was hoping to find. Alright. Create or break down items. I should probably create a whole bunch more computer spikes. There we go. Because I don't have a lot of those left. And the parts... I have plenty of those already. Break down... Hmm. I don't need this. Sonic nullifiers. What are these? Oh, they only add restrict. Or rather resist, not... F uh, I thought it added immunity. That's, that's dumb. That's dumb. Okay, I'm going to break down all of these because I don't need this many energy shields. Definitely don't need this many of those shields. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Computer spikes. I'm good. Don't need to break down that. Deveronian edge adds massive criticals. And moderate adds slashing damage on top of massive criticals. Well, how can I turn that down? Like at all. And sonic discharge also adds massive criticals. But it also lowers the attack modifier. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Hmm. And break that down. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. At least on that. And let's upgrade stuff. Oh, I can upgrade this. Oh, there we go. That's good. Let's add the edge. Since I'm not dealing with droids anymore... Uh, yeah, why not? Do the moderate. And then throw on the mild on here. That would then make me require weapon focus for melee weapons and then make the weapon unable to be equipped by me. Enhanced energy... I mean, this is fine. 
That's fine. That'll work. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Huh. Okay. We call that good. I say we're well equipped enough that we can continue without risk of probable death? I wouldn't say certain, but probable? Alright, time to get through here. And get out the ship using the fuel port. Which I guess we open through this. Activate engine maintenance procedure. Haha. -ha. Ion engine maintenance procedure. Engine coolant activated. Hatch unsealed. Good. Good, 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 good. Tell me you're joking. We are not going to cross back into the Paragas facility through the fuel line. That's crazy. You're saying this as if this wasn't the plan. It's the only way to get around the sealed door and into the hangar where the Ebon Hawk is. All right, but I know I'm going to regret this. All right, if you say so. I sense you, my master. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you. As you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead. Save one, and one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. Um. <clears throat> What's wrong? Are you all right? Damn it, hold on. It's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? Oh, yeah, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. I th Kreia, I think she was wounded. Badly. Huh? How do you know that? I think it was through the forests. Look, if she's in pain, then that pain's buying us time we can't afford to waste. Especially if Sleeps with Vibroblades gets tired of playing with her and hey! decides to use us for practice That's next. my line. Yeah, that's fair, but also... Ow, I guess. Uh, alright, let's go. Okay. And now we're in the fuel depot. And there's my T3! And apparently other droids just outside the door from that sound. So... Now it's time to end the episode, because we have just hit, finally, just hit, the end of the episode time. <laughs> I say that as if I wanted it to end. I, I love this game. I love this game to death. I love playing it. It's just, you know, the beginning part is kind of a drag, because I know so much about it. <laughs> and uh, really, it's the later game that anything could be happening really i don't know all of those off the top of my head but the beginning part i know down to a science so yeah <laughs> anyway thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more click the like button if you like this particular video and share in comments so we can bring more people into this community we can talk about the games we're playing together and i will see you all in the next episode. My voice was kind of given out in there, so that's another reason why I should probably end the episode. It's been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and having my voice go out on me as I do this outro. But we're also trying to do a quick run around of the Harbinger to get back into the Paragas facility, get into the Ebon Hawk and get out of here. Hopefully we can pick up Kreia 
who has been injured in the attempt to let us get out of here. Hopefully we pick her up on the way out. Otherwise, she has a really short trip ahead of her. <laughs> because I have a feeling this is going to go bad for everyone involved. For you.